One of the more uh, extraordinary points in the debate last night uh, on the BBC, a question time between uh, the leaders of the main British parties, was when Rishi Sunak accused Keir Starmer of pursuing the same economic policies of those uh, akin to those of Liz Truss, uh, focusing on her unfunded commitments. And, of course, uh, there, there are those in the Labour Party who would say that everything has been funded in their election manifesto. And if you, if you, if you want a really good analysis of that or presentation of that, then you should follow uh, what is said by um, Darren Jones, uh, who... Um, who, 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 who is absolutely stunning in being able to think on his feet and respond to questions, and he seems to have all the details at his fingertips. But Truss's short tenure as Prime Minister was marked by her controversial mini-budget, um, which proposed substantial unfunded tax cuts, and it's, uh, it caused a significant turmoil in the market, raising borrowing costs, leading to the loss of confidence among investors and the publics and the rise of people's mortgages. And Sunak argued that Starmer's economic policies, particularly his proposed public spending increases, um, didn't have clear funding mechanisms and could lead to the sort of instability, the economic instability and high inflation that Liz Truss ushered in. It is extraordinary that a conservative Prime Minister should be criticising his immediate predecessor in this way. Uh, I mean, there are many things that one should criticise about Liz Truss. The, 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 the winsome look as if... Do you, do you notice when she's talking, she's always looking around to see who's approving, as if mummy or daddy are standing behind her saying, oh, that's our little girl. And then her hand gestures... After two years, her hand gestures have still not improved. She still, she still looks like a marionette from Joe 90 or Captain Scarlet. And, and I'm told, reliably, I'm told, she is still, she is still practicing. She is, she has still, she took lessons on gestures and voice intonation. And presumably she was given, um, homework to do, hand jobs. And her hand jobs have never improved. Two years down the line, and all those sort of hand gestures towards uh, Quasi Quateng's prodigious package, it was all talk, all talk, and no, uh, and, and, and no control. Um, all, well, it was control. It was, it, was all, it was all control and no authority. It was an absurd uh, demonstration. She was stringing us along, quite literally, a marionette being controlled. Britain controlled by a marionette, um, and 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 if you haven't checked out Joe Ninety and those wonderful things of super marionation from the nineteen sixties BBC television series, um, she controlled and directed by others, lacking autonomy, and the criticisms are directed. To, oh, and 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 Farage wants us to leave the World um, Economic Forum. <laughs> it there is madness. There is madness from this uh, right-wing cabal of loonies. All of them, all of them clearly uh, operated by strings, uh, and they have no idea who's pulling them. And the criticisms leveled at trusts, including her claims of being sabotaged by the deep state, looking around by the deep state. Uh, you could almost see her mouth being controlled, and her controversial... Remarks made at right-wing conferences further enhance her puppet-like depiction, uh, suggesting she was a figurehead maintained by ideological influences, external pressures, and lunacy. And <laughs> oh, I, I have no problem. I have no problem with her being used as some sort of benchmark of stupidity, but I find it extraordinary that this is cited by one Conservative Prime Minister of another.